So once again, I'll show, uh, demonstrate a little bit of the water brush here. You can see um, the hairs of the brush are actually quite dry and everything should be in a nice fine point. And choosing uh, to be straight up and down, and I'm not pinching the brush tightly, but holding in the middle, starting off straight, coming straight down, asymmetrical approach to the water, and coming down into a straight line. If for some reason you don't happen to have a water brush, it is still possible to use a regular brush, and here I've got just a regular brush that you might use if you were using um, or painting bamboo. And so you can see this brush is quite wet. Um, what you can do is just remove some of the moisture, use your hands or use a paper towel or, or something, and widen out the bristles of the brush as I'm doing here. Now this is going to create a fan shape um, and not the horizontal shape that we want, but nonetheless if we retract some of these bristles here, the ones that are starting to curve out, uh, we can still get with what we have a little bit of, um, and here you can see some hairs that are coming out, that's fine, a little bit of the effect of a water brush. So just dip this last little part here into the ink. And here you can see um, the gradation that I've used. And we'll try to do the same thing. So, I mean, it's not as, as great as a water brush, but it is still possible to do, you know, a little bit with that. So you can always improvise with a brush that you might have. Again, using the same technique to come along the straight parts, widening at the curve, widening at the curve if you want to increase, reloading with a little bit more black to give that feeling. And this, um, this feeling of the water is used in the same way when you try to make mist or clouds. So again, just trace along horizontally. So here probably you wouldn't be able to tell that I was using two different brushes um, after the process. Now at the very end, I'm going to reform my brush here. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of ink all over my hand dip into a medium color and then if you want to add a little bit of shadow to your water you can come back in and then just paint in with a medium gray or a very very light gray and this also increases a little bit of the the tone of the water uh, particularly if you're doing something else on the outside of it so just fill it in and basically it's just painting in the lines that you've that you've created with your brush so this is another ornamentation uh, again asymmetrical, extremely straight, and drawing down from the horizontal to increase, horizontal to increase the width, and can be used for mist, for water, or for clouds.